Long before the complete structure of DNA was known, there was a hypothesis put forward by Phoebus Levine that the relative amounts of purines and pyrimidines in DNA would be equal. In other words, that the four nucleotides in the DNA would occur in equal numbers, and this was known as the tetranucleotide hypothesis. To test the tetranucleotide hypothesis, a scientist called Erwin Chargaff decided to analyze a number of different DNA samples from a variety of different species. When he looked at the nucleotide composition of his different DNA samples, he found that indeed the four different nucleotides were not present in equal numbers. Now note that falsifiability is an important way by which scientific hypotheses are evaluated. It was an idea introduced by the Austrian philosopher Karl Popper in 1935, and falsifiability is the logical possibility that a hypothesis can be shown to be false. By collecting data that showed that the four nucleotides were not present in equal amounts, Erwin Chargaff falsified the tetranucleotide hypothesis originally put forward by Phoebus Levine. It's interesting to note that Erwin Chargaff actually met James Watson and Francis Crick in 1952 and he explained his data to them. This would later help Watson and Crick deduce that DNA has the structure of a double helix.